Hey, what's up coders? Welcome to One Little Coder. In this video, we're going to explore GPT-4. This is my first look at GPT-4. I recently got access by getting Chat GPT Plus subscription in India. So I'm going to show you how I'm accessing GPT-4 and what are the things that we are going to try. It's going to be a very simple video where we are going to showcase certain capabilities of GPT-4 and probably get surprised about how good this technology is. To start with, how do you access GPT-4? Right now you can get Chat GPT plus subscription which is like $20 per month. Depending upon where you live, there might be some tax around it. And if you pay for it, then you get GPT-4 access within your Chat GPT plus interface. Now, for example, I can go here and then select GPT-4. And when I select GPT-4, it tells me that right now, like a couple of days back, they were giving 50 messages per three hours. But today, as of today, they changed it to 25 messages every three hours. And they have also mentioned that you have to expect for a lower cap next week as we are just for demand. So I don't know what does it mean, but for now we are going to get 25 messages, only 25 messages for every three hours. This is $20 per month and let's see how this is going to work. So once you have chat GPT plus subscription, you can select the model that you want to use. And within the model that you're going to use, they've given certain information around how is chat GPT's uh, default model? How is legacy chat GPT model? And how is the GPT-4 model? The good thing with GPT-4 model is, as you can see, when you compare it with your the predecessors, GPT-4 excels at tasks that require advanced reasoning, complex instru instruction understanding, and more creative. So the reasoning they've given five star out of five star. That's a, that's a huge claim. I mean, like whenever somebody asks me, how good are you in programming? I would probably pick something in the middle or slightly above average because I also want to play safe. But you can see that chat GPT or open AI has really gone like full, full blown claim where they have said that chat GPT plus or the GPT four, the new latest model in GPT four is five star out of five star in terms of reasoning, in terms of speed, two star and in terms of conscious uh, conciseness four star conciseness. I don't know how does how concise this is, but we are going to see how chat GPT four works. This is just to compare with the default 3.5 model. The right now the speed is five star. The reasoning is three star, but uh, conciseness is two. So you can see reasoning has quite improved in the GPT four model. So let's start with a very simple question. Like I want to see if I can build a website. So I want to build a simple website using chat GPT plus with the GPT-4 model. This is the basic request. As we have seen in the GPT-4 demo, GPT-4 does really good in terms of coding. Let's see how it goes. Uh, design, you are, let's say, it's you are a website designer. You can use HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Let me say only you can use only you can only use HTML. The website is for a food delivery system called Swiggy. Please keep the color theme as red. Design assume any copy that you want. The landing page should have at least a login button and the footer should have a sample contact address and uh, give me the entire code that I can check with codepen.io. Let's see. So I've said a uh, first important thing is to set a context. So it says you are a website designer. You can use, you can only use this, 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 this. And uh, I said like the condition is I want a login button at least in this. So it, it also tells me that I can go check there. So I said like I want only HTML, CSS, JavaScript. And uh, it tells me that I can go to the code pen and then paste it. So I'm going to go here and then look for code pen first. So code pen dot IO. And I'm going to keep it ready. And I'm going to say start coding. So I can paste the HTML, CSS, JavaScript here. So let's go back to chat GPT or GPT plus in this GPT four chat GPT plus in this case. So our HTML is ready. I'm going to copy the code, go back here, paste it in HTML. So the HTML is ready. 
this is the this is the very basic website how it looks like with html swiggy food delivery there is a login button welcome to swiggy experience the best food delivery in town order from your favorite restaurants enjoy the delicious meals that's a nice copy decent copy and let's go and then see the css it's still happening and you can see how fast it is um it's not like super fast i can understand in terms of the speed they have said that the current gpt 3.5 is the fastest but we can see that it 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 does its job so css is ready copy the css go back and paste the css now because i said keep the color red so it has done so we have given the red color before like before pasting the css this is how it looks after pasting the css this is how it looks and then go back and then look for the javascript i'm going to look for the javascript come back here oh that's my chess match and paste it here and the javascript is ready so i can go here click login functionality has not been implemented is the message that we got like click login functionality is not been implemented that's exactly what the alert message is so this is a very simple website and uh, it uses it so if i want to make any change i can go here and then ask some changes but this is quite an impressive thing that within just a couple of seconds we managed to create a website with uh, with whatever that food delivery swiggy food delivery swiggy is a popular delivery in india so we managed to create a landing page right now it doesn't have any um, let's say like images or anything so i can go here and then say can you implement some carousel and also a hero banner okay so i've just asked for certain changes and it is going to give me an updated html css javascript version and it says like from um, where does it take the hero banner and you can see the banner is going to be integrated within my html head section and um, it also says okay sorry it's going to be part of the head head to html because it's a new css and uh, you can see that what is it adding so again it's it's running the code is running but if we want to see how it does with uh, anything other than programming that's our next task so it looks like programming is pretty good in terms of like if i can generate a website just like this i think it's uh, it's super amazing like i think there is no excuse for me not to say i cannot build an ai saas application because i do not know web designing i think i don't have that excuse anymore because all i have to do is go to chat gpt plus select the model gpt4 and ask it to design what i want and i would have the bare minimum at least and you know definitely i can improve on top of it but i would definitely have the bare minimum here thanks to gpt4 it's still happening so what i want to do right now is i want to go and pick the next question that i want to try with chat gpt plus so chat gpt plus gpt4 has been told like we have been told that it is quite good at reasoning so let me go to a math reasoning site which we have tested multiple times on this channel and then pick a question while this is getting generated so i want to go to a website called uh, let's say byju's byju's age quantitative question is something that i have like looked for multiple times i'm going to go here and then pick one of the questions so it says this age this 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 so it's a typical thing that people ask in uh, indian bank exams and a lot of different places so i'm going to just go copy this one of this question and then try it but meanwhile let's copy our html or to go back paste it and it's going to improve it supposedly it is supposed to improve so right now the javascript part or css part is not implemented so you can see 1 2 3 it just says slide um it also has an error it seems what is the error it says okay let me delete everything paste it again hopefully it doesn't doesn't um, make any big change it's done copy the css go back to code pen replace everything it still says slide 1 slide 2 slide 3 and now my js is not there okay it says copy this code and uh, where do i add this i have to add this inside my head is that what it's saying okay i'm going to copy this entire thing paste it copy this entire thing so looks like the css has not been completed i can stick to the same css but again it doesn't work so i have to say can you complete the css so it looks like i might run out of my 20 questions in 3 hours just say oh apologies okay fine 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 i uh, i forgive you okay. 
So it's all done. It says that your landing page will include a hero banner with a carousel that plays automatically through the slides. Let's see. Now copy the CSS. Go back to code pen, paste the CSS, go back to chat GPT. How does it look now? It looks like this. It's, it still looks like this. Go back to GPT four, copy the code, come back here, paste it. And let's see what's going to happen. Okay. It says there have been 15 changes. Cool. It's a, Oh, amazing. We have got the carousel and we have got the same login button. When I click it, it says login functionality has not been implemented. This is quite amazing. I'm going to save this and then probably share it with you. Yeah, I have to sign up. I don't want to sign up, but you can see how brilliantly it has successfully generated a landing page. Um, I don't know how long it's been since we started this video, but few minutes. It's amazing. Next, I'm going to ask a math reasoning problem. And this question has a couple of things that we do not know for now. So which I'm going to say, okay, the sum of ages of a daughter and a mother is this. Let me say, explain the steps and let's ask the question. And the answer here, the right answer here is 12 years, 44, 12 years and 44 years. Okay. Let's, uh, let's read the question. The sum of the ages of the daughter and mother is 56. After four years, the age of the mother will be three times of daughter. What is the age? So it should be quite fairly easy. Let's see. It solves the daughter's age is D mother's age is M. And some of their age is 56 or so D plus M should be 56. Also after four years, mother's age will be three times more. So M, M plus four is equal to three times of this thing, this thing. And uh, it says now we need to solve the, the system of linear equation. Huh? And then the step two substitute the expression and step three is, is actually creating step four, move all the terms with the D to one side. Hmm, good. So 48 is equal to 40. So D divided by four. That's impressive. 12. And now that we have daughter's age, then the mother's age is 12. And it is going to be 56 minus 12, 44. We have got every single step and then we have got the answer. This is again, super impressive. So we tested the web designing, the programming part. Impressive. We decided that we tested the math reasoning quite impressive. I'm going to test one more thing. I wanted to test this. There is a Tamil poet called Thiruvalluvar. Um, like there, it's quite a popular thing in my language. I wanted to try. You are, you are Thiruvalluvar. You need to answer my question as a Tamil Thirukkural. Okay. Now what is the question? I want to say, what is life? Let's see if it can answer in Tamil, like actual Tamil. So as the rule where I would answer your question with a circular that addresses the essence of life. Okay. Agara Mudala. Yerutellam. Oh, it's, it actually gives me Adi Bhagavan. Mudatre. Ulagu. Okay. It just gives me the transliteration. But what I actually want is, um, I wanted to, it, it also gives me a translation. A is the first of all the letters. And first and eternal source, this circular emphasis on the divine creation, meaning of life. Okay. I understand. So now can I ask chat GPT or GPT four to translate this? Can you say the same in, um, in the style of shake spear? So now I want the same exact same thing and give me in the Shakespeare style. So from a the first of later spent eternal source on which the world depends in pursuit of truth. The heart shall soar to grasp life's meanings forevermore. So this is in, uh, inspired by Shakespeare's writing style. Now I want to ask one more thing. Can you give me the same, the same as a Python program? So now I've taken Thirukural, which was first good. Then I asked in the Shakespeare style, which was good. Now I've asked the same thing to be as a Python program. So now as a Python program, the essence of life can be this first letter, eternal source, written first letter. It has created a function and it is actually creating a function, another function. And um, it, it, it has used F string and it has this function assigned in this object, uh, the result of it, and then it prints. Uh, it's kind of cheating here. I would say like, it doesn't really mean the first, the Python program. 
but this python program should be definitely executable because there is a function here the function is here and then it returns the f string is there and then it gives me the result so so far we have tested the gpt4 in programming math reasoning and also what they call um, the st steerability like you know adding style asking it to do something so so far all these things i think gpt4 has come in um, in let's say flying colors that that looks good the final thing that i wanted to test which i recently came on twitter is uh, where gpt 3.5 did not do a good job so which is which one is heavier okay two pounds of bird feather or one pound of steel ball explain so the i think this question um bing was giving a wrong answer despite microsoft telling that gpt4 is actually powering bing so it says one pound of steel bar is heavier than two pounds of bird feather one second i can see this is because the weight of the ball is measured in pounds which is a unit of mass while the weight of feather is also measured in pounds when comparing the weights it says this is two pound this is one pound since two pound is greater than one pound the two pounds of feathers are heavier than one pound of steel ball you can actually see how it contradicts so here you can see one pound of steel bar is heavier than two pounds of bird feather and here it says the two pounds of bird feathers are heavier than one pound of steel ball however it is important to note that although the bird feathers are heavier in this comparison the steel ball is denser and takes up lesser space so you can this this is one thing that i actually saw uh, gpt 3.5 not doing well and i can still see that chat gpt plus or gpt 4 is not doing well let's see if we say that if your answer is wrong your first line is wrong and then let's see you are correct i apologize okay thank thanks for acknowledging so it says one pound of steel ball is lighter oh that's a clever way of changing the entire thing right it didn't it didn't swap the subject here it actually changed that one pound of steel bar is lighter than this and it actually says the entire thing you can see how it changed everything and then it uh, gives me the answer so it says one pound of steel ball is lighter than two pounds of bird feather even though my question is about which one is heavier i'm going to stop my chat gpt plus powered by gpt4 experiment here so overall what i've learned i think it is really good in programming it is really good in math reasoning uh it is really good in um, the steer ability or uh, you know asking it in a particular style like literature i think the reasoning part even though they have given like five star for reasoning um i'm not sure like this is one of the question that i expected it to do well but it didn't do well in the first shot and it has corrected itself like i wouldn't blame it but it has not done a good job i want to test gpt4 extensively with a lot of more information um, especially what i would ask a search engine and then try to get here but for now i would like to stop here and then say that gpt4 is super impressive and i am super impressed with my first look especially that website that it this designed with a carousel the red color theme this is super amazing if you have any question let me know in the comment section otherwise see you in another video happy prompting